Good morning students. Today we are entering into the final topic of the hearing, auditory pathway. So in last in my last previous three videos, I clearly discussed about the mechanism of hearing, part one, part two, part three, and we ended up the organ of corti, and we ended up with the tilt of the air cells, which causes the action potential. Now we are going to discuss about the reaction potential, which is caused because of the tilt of the air cells. So this year, the air cells are present, which we can consider as receptors for hearing. So in auditory pathway, I am starting with organ of corti air cells that bend, which is going to cause the action potential and this pathway, the action potential which is going to travel, obviously it is going to end in auditory cortex. So that pathway we are going to discuss today. So anything is starting from the receptors, especially all the ascending sensory. So auditory pathway is a sensory pathway, not a motor and it is ascending. So usually all ascending sensory pathways start with receptors and here the organ of cortex are air cells. And please note it down, this is a spiral ganglion, which is a bipolar neuron. So this is considered as peripheral process, this I discussed in last class itself. So the peripheral process of spiral ganglion is present, is sending in the air cells, the peripheral process of the spiral ganglion. This is considered as central process, comes as the eighth nerve or in fact I can say cochlear nerve because I am going to be specific. Eighth nerve is vestibular cochlear nerve and I am taking the cochlear division as I am discussing auditory pathway. So this will be vestibular. So the central process of the spiral ganglion continues as the eighth nerve which is vestibular cochlear nerve. This is vestibular division of vestibular cochlear nerve. This is cochlear division of vestibular cochlear nerve. So cochlear nerve is the one which we are going to discuss in the auditory pathway and it reaches the cochlear nucleus. So this is dorsal and ventral cochlear nucleus. So this is considered as first order neuron in the auditory pathway. So the first order neuron in auditory pathway starts from the air cells, continues via the spiral ganglion and ends up in dorsal and ventral cochlear nucleus. So up to this, so yeah, cochlear this dorsal and ventral cochlear nucleus and remember this is same side, yeah, first order neuron from the air cells up to the dorsal and ventral cochlear, so up to this is first order ends. So first order neuron ends in dorsal and ventral cochlear nuclei. Now from here the second order neuron starts, Yeah, it ends in superior olivary nucleus. So the same side pathway ends in the same side superior olivary nucleus, opposite superior olivary nucleus. Remember, this is trapezoid body. Usually, I told most of the fibers will be crossing to the opposite side. Those which crosses to the opposite side of the superior olivary nucleus goes via the trapezoid body. So this is a structure. It has to pass through this trapezoid body, then reach the superior olivary nucleus. So this is second order neuron. So we have reached up to the first order neuron is finished up to the dorsal ventral cochlear nucleus, second order neuron from the cochlear nucleus to the superior olivar nucleus. Now coming to the third order neuron, I will put it here. So this is inferior colliculus and these fibers we call as, please note it down, lateral lemniscus, same thing here, lateral lemniscus. Hope you remember medial lemniscus usually comes in the dorsal column pathway which is ascending pathway in the spinal cord. Here it is lateral lemniscus, La or lateral lemniscus nothing but the fibers which comes from the superior alveolar nucleus and it comes to the inferior colliculus. This is third order neuron. Now from the inferior colliculus, so this is the opposite. From the inferior colliculus, it reaches the medial geniculate body and we can consider this as fourth order neuron. So from the inferior colliculus, so from the inferior colliculus, the fibers of the auditory pathway reach the medial geniculate body and hope you remember in my previous video I told about the mnemonic with geniculate body, M for music. So medial geniculate body will be coming in the auditory pathway. 
and obviously medial geniculate body is a part of thalamus. So this is the fourth order neuron. From the middle geniculate body, it reaches the auditory cortex. Primary auditory cortex is area number 41, 42 also can be included. Secondary auditory cortex is area number 22 or auditory association area. So, and this will be the fifth order neuron. So, this is the auditory pathway which I have discussed. So, totally I will write it here, 5 neurons. Now I will write it in black so that I can be able to differentiate. First order neuron is from the air cells to the dorsal and ventral cochlear nucleus. So this is the first order neuron. Second order neuron is from the cochlear nucleus to the superior olivary nucleus. So I will just round this in black color you can understand. Yeah. So first order neuron from the cochlear nerve to superior olivary nucleus is the second order neuron. From superior olivary nucleus to inferior colliculus is the third order neuron. From inferior colliculus to the medial geniculate body is the fourth order neuron. From, yeah, now I made it easy. So just see here, from the air cells or from the eighth nerve in fact, air cells, eighth nerve. So from the eighth nerve to the cochlear nucleus, which is dorsal and ventral cochlear nucleus is the first order neuron. From the cochlear nucleus to the superior olivary nucleus is the second order neuron. From the superior alveolar nucleus to the inferior colliculus is the third order neuron. From the inferior colliculus to the medial geniculate body is the fourth order neuron. From the medial geniculate body to the auditory cortex is the fifth order neuron. Now I am going to make it still simple with the mnemonic. You need not get confused at all. Just note this mnemonic E. coli ma. E. coli ma. So please note this mnemonic E. coli ma. So you know E. coli, E. coli, Hysteria coli. So remember the E. coli organism studying master in arts. E. coli ma. So E for eighth nerve, which is cochlear nerve. C for cochlear nuclei, please note it down, which has both dorsal and ventral. O for superior, O, olivary nucleus. L for lateral lemniscus, which I mentioned here. I for inferior colliculus, M for medial geniculate body, A for auditory cortex. I can repeat E. coli ma, E for eighth nerve, your C here, eighth nerve, coli ma, C for cochlear nucleus, dorsal, I will write again in black color, E, cochlear nucleus, superior olivary nucleus, lateral lemniscus, inferior colliculus, Medial geniculate body, auditory cortex. See here, again repeat. Eighth nerve. E, C, cochlear nerve. C, a cochlear nerve. E, C, O, superior olivary nucleus. L, lateral lemniscus. I, inferior colliculus. M, medial geniculate body, A, auditory cortex. So, five order neurons. In fact, I am making it simple. So, E, coli, ma. Even if you remember this mnemonic, you can easily write this. Auditory pathway, it can come in essay as well as in 5 marks. Important university, in fact, in special senses, this auditory pathway is a highly expected university question. Now, coming to the special features of this auditory pathway, as I mentioned, special features, I will even write it. Special features of this auditory pathway are bilateral representation, that is, same side as well as cross to the opposite side. If there's most of the fibers, how it goes? Most of the fibers crosses to the opposite side via the trapezoid body and the same five order neurons. Another point, very, very important. Apart from this routine auditory pathway, there are some associated fibers which goes to the, please note it down, vermis of cerebellum and the reticular activating system. For example, yeah, from the cochlear nucleus, it's going, yeah, from here maybe, reticular activating system, vermix. I am not drawing it in detail, just I am explaining. Some fibers, as it goes to the auditory cortex, some takes other projections. Some, the main pathway going to the auditory cortex, some from there take diversion and goes to the vermis of cerebellum and also to the reticular activating system. I hope you can understand, reticular activating system is alert and wakefulness. Cerebellum is for posture and balance. For example, I am standing and taking class here. 
suddenly some dog comes near me bark uh, so suddenly some dog comes near me barking with loud sound what i will do i am able to hear that sound suddenly immediately that is one is hearing is there other thing there associated fibers also gets activated and loud sound comes i am getting activated reticular activating system and if i want to run since the dog comes the i am hearing the loud sound of the dog and i want to run away from the animal i need to maintain the posture that is given by cerebellum and another important feature is this auditory pathway have tonographic representation very very important in fact in guyton it is given around 6 maps will be there represented or otherwise each fibers has a specific sound localization so just remember auditory pathway has a tonographic representation for example on low frequency sound comes that those fibers will be specifically activated or traveled high frequency sound those fibers will be activated like how i explained in the basilar membrane apex of basilar membrane some pitch sounds base of basilar membrane some pitch sounds same way in auditory pathway also the tonographic representation is there so with this i conclude today's class so we have completed four videos on hearing the final video is on auditory pathway please remember the mnemonic e coli ma e coli studying master in arts so totally five order neurons very very simple it ends up in auditory cortex it starts from the air cells through spiral ganglion very very simple if you like this video please share to our other medical students paramedical students if you have not yet subscribed to my channel subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button for so that you will get the notification for my upcoming videos so that you will be able to watch my videos without any interruption okay thank you we'll meet in the next video